Hello everyone, welcome to Wiki Procedure Info channel. Today we shall see the application procedure for registering for Aspire Scheme NSIC in Karnataka. The link which I am highlighting now is also provided in the description below. If you click on that, this official web page will be opened. On the top right corner, you can see the select language option. If you click on that, the list of language options for this procedure will be shown. You can choose any desired language as per your convenience. Once you choose a particular language, this entire procedure will be changed into that language. This procedure can either be applied online or applied by mail. For applying online, you'll have to click on the link over here. It will lead to the official website where you can apply. Select the business incubator category here. Select the agency as government or private. If you are registered with NGO Darpan, enter your unique ID and PAN number, then click on validate. If no, you can click here for registering the NGO with the NGO Darpan. and click on validate button you will be led to the registration form enter all the necessary details in the form and click on submit button and you will have to upload digital copies of necessary documents as mentioned under the required document section of this page once the prescribed amount mentioned in the site is popped up you'll have to pay the amount online using the payment gateway option provided there. Then click on the submit button. Once the payment is completed, you'll be receiving the acknowledgement online regarding the process completion. You'll also receive an SMS notification regarding the process later on. Once the sanction is done, the prospective beneficiary will be required to sign the agreement with the Ministry of MSME. Once the signing is done, NSIC and Ministry of MSME will disburse the assistance for the unit provider that is security in the form of bank guarantee from approved or nationalized banks is furnished by the applicant. Once all the process gets completed, the applicant can get a call from the office the processing time for this procedure is one to three months while visiting the office the applicant will have to have the original documents with them you can also apply by mail for this procedure under the required document section you can find the documents needed for this procedure which are completed application form the link over here has the application form link you can scroll down to the page number 26 you can download it and print it out for your reference you can also fill it up and uh, this while visiting the office business license is needed center license pan card statement highlighting the requirement for lbi is needed Proposed interventions to address the that are needed. Plan of action. Proposed output outcome. Impact envisagated. Qualitative and quantitative. Under the office location and contacts, you can find the office address. Headquarters. Uh, you can uh, mail them by the email ID provided here. As per the eligibility, any agency or institution of the government of India or state government or any existing training centers under ministries or departments of the government of India or state government, industry associations and academic institutions or eligible for this procedure. Any entrepreneur who intends to set up, uh, set up the startups are eligible. It is not for profit or private institutions with experience in 
successfully executing incubation or skill development programs are also eligible. Any technical or university or research institute, including those in the field of rural and agro-based industry, are eligible. All MSMEs with entrepreneurs memorandum registration are eligible. Any institute or agency under the Government of India or any state government in the field of technology, business management, rural development and entrepreneur development or anybody corporate under public-private partnership mode can set up livelihood business incubation. Any existing incubation centers operating under different ministries and departments of government of India and institutions which include national or regional level institution of government of India or any state government for setting up centers are also eligible. The application for the scheme has to be submitted to the Aspire Scheme Steering Committee of the Ministry of MSMA. As per the fee, the applicant will have to pay the fee as requested by consent authorities. That's all for this procedure. If you found it informative, please like, share and subscribe to this channel. If you have any queries regarding this procedure, drop your queries down in the comment section below. Thank you.